Hello? Yeah. What? Okay. So, I did pass that drug test. Okay. Now, another problem is, is that they're not even hiring for the shift that I wanted. What, hi what shift are they hiring for? Second and third. Oh. Which means, which means second's out of the question. Mm hmm And third, I'm not working overnight. Okay, how come? Because I don't work overnight. Take a breath, okay. I don't care. I don't care if I work the casino overnight. Mm hmm That doesn't mean that I have to do it all my life now. Okay, take a breath. What are you getting in my face about? Because I know what you're thinking. I know what you and Mark are thinking. I don't think you know anything, Michael. I haven't I haven't had a job since October, okay? Uh-huh. So I don't know what to do. There are no jobs in Buffalo. I've been well, why don't you want to do the why don't you want why don't you want to do the second? Is it because of the um, the transportation? Yeah. Why are you yelling at me? Because I know what you and Mark are thinking. You don't know shit, Michael. I know Mark thinks I'm this lazy piece of shit, but I'm not. Why are you yelling at me? Because I, I just told you why. Because I know what you and Mark are thinking. Then why do you bother to call me? Because I have to discuss this. I gotta make sure I that see. you and Mark are thinking. Like okay. This. Okay. Okay. So because I worked there, I worked at the casino overnight. Doesn't mean that I liked working the casino overnight. I hated working overnight. I understand. I understand. Okay. So I don't want to hear you or Mark say, why don't you just work overnight because you did it before. I didn't say that at all. But you're thinking it. No, not really. I know because of the, I know because of the transportation issue. Yeah, and that transportation I mean, how, issue is your Why fault. are you screaming at me? The transportation issue is your fault. Oh, I'd love to hear this one. Tell because, me, please. Because, because you had to watch Cold Turkey. <laughs> You're funny, okay. If I had Time Machine, I'd go back and just and just kill the people that made that movie. Okay? <laughs> They're probably dead Okay. Anyway. The people that made that movie are already dead, probably, anyway. Right, probably. But, you know, you take that movie, and, and now my whole life is based on it. Thanks. So, you know. Not really, Michael, but okay. So, so because I, could, I can't drive, because you had to watch Cold Turkey. Not really. You know. Oh, so you're not, you're not going around saying I shouldn't drive because you watch Cold Turkey. No, I'm saying that you shouldn't drive because what's going to happen if you get a bee inside the car? Who cares about bees? You do because you you oh that's so you're so full of shit that you've actually videotaped three times you flipping out. Yeah. When did I do that? When you put it on your blog or whatever. Oh, when the bee got in my apartment, yeah. I yeah, when it got in your apartment, when you were dumpster yeah. diving. Let me finish. When you were dumpster diving, and then there was, and then the other time when you almost put yourself through a bus shelter. When was that? Next question. It was on one of your blogs. I put myself through a bus shelter. I didn't say that. I said you almost did. 
What does that mean? That means that you were at a bus, you were at a bus shelter, and a, there were bees in there, and you freaked out, and you filmed it. You put it on YouTube, so. Who cares? Besides, they weren't bees. They weren't bees. Okay. They were yellow jackets. Every, Same difference. Every, every, no, everybody freaks out at yellow jackets, okay? I don't. Yeah, well, when they're chasing you down the street, then you might freak out. I don't have the, I don't have them chasing you down the street. I still don't understand why you're screaming at me. Because you you based my entire life on this. Cold Hold on a second. Are you are you are you live streaming? No. Hold on. Okay. Somebody's calling me. Mhm. Mm Hello. Hello? Hi, this is Gary calling from Citigroup. You called about making a fingerprint appointment? Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do that now because of the scheduling. Hello? Yes? All right. So that was, that was the thing, trying to get my fingerprints. But I can't work that job because of the scheduling. So then don't take, the, just tell them that um, you don't have transportation oh and that. God. If I, if you didn't watch Cold Turkey, I'd have transportation. I'm going to hang up on you very soon. You don't you take don't responsibility for you shut the fuck up. You don't take. Excuse me? I said you don't take responsibility for your actions. Oh, and you do? I do, yeah. No, you don't. I do. No, For my I don't actions, think so. Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I when don't I, think so. When I was 16, this should have been taken care of when I was 16. Listen, it wasn't. I, uh, I offered you to go to driving school. No. You didn't want to go. No. Why don't you, you no, know, you have to teach me. Why do I have to teach you? Because that's what parents do, okay? Well, no, they don't. That's if what they, parents if they, Listen, if they don't have time or they don't have the patience to do it, they send their kids to driving school. Plus, you get extra points when you go to driving school. You get extra points on your driver's exam. Um, what does that mean? Exam. What does that mean? Instead of you getting an 85 on a driver's exam, maybe you would get a 95. Who you get cares? extra points. Who cares as long as it's 65? Obviously, you pass. do. Who cares if 65 passing? I don't know what you're passing this. It's 65. Like I said, I don't know this. I do. Okay. Do you want to get your point here? I want to get to my point that, you know, you get to take all these extravagant vacations, okay? Uh -huh. and, I, and I get to live in a dump. It's not my fault. It's not my, not your fault? How's it, how's it not your fault? That's not my fault. You know, it's get, absolutely you not and my dad fault. have to live in, a, in, 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 the, in the dump of, of Buffalo. Um, we like it. Like so, what? Just because you don't like it doesn't mean anything to me. Well, you know, you get to take all these extravagant vacations and, and I get well, What's your point? What's their point? The point is, is that... You know, I can't, there is no work in Buffalo. This isn't just, you know, this isn't just, this isn't just a, uh... You're limiting <clears throat> yourself. What? You're limiting yourself. I told you the, what you could do. I told you try to, uh, try to apply for a, a bus aid job. They pay 15 bucks an hour. I tried a bus aid job. They didn't hire me for that either. Okay. They they didn't they won't hire me for that. Why not? Did they say why? I don't know. They said they wouldn't hire me. 
no, they don't give a reason. I, I, I applied for a, a bunch of bus aid stuff. They didn't hire me. Then this is my fault. It is, because, because you couldn't, you had to watch Cold Turkey. Oh, you're a moron. Well, you got well, it, it, that is the root of my problem, right? Yeah, Michael, please. Cause, cause, cause that, that's what you said. That's what you said. You don't want me to drive it to the cold turkey. Michael, that is not, that is not what I said. I told you that, 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 that um, that movie was not meant for you not to drive. That movie was to describe how you have, um, you don't have control over, um, uh, you're, you're very impulsive. It's, Mom, it's it, a, it never had anything to do with you driving. It's, Mom, it's a comedy movie. Michael? Okay. It yeah. just explained how you were impulsive. That's all that did. It's a so, comedy you're getting ideas. What's your point? You're getting ideas from the TV and the movie. That's right. So what's your point? When the, whenever I go into one of your psychiatrists, guess what the one, the first thing that they ask me? What's that? Okay, the second thing maybe. First thing is, do you hear voices? No. Do you get information? Do you get do you? Do you feel that the the TV is is giving you ideas? No. But it, it seems like okay. you get ideas from TV. No, Michael. You're completely, I don't know how you've done it, but you've completely gotten this one wrong. You know? I'm, I'm just saying. So you're screaming at me because you're a moron. Is that what you're telling me? What? That you are misunderstanding what that whole thing was about, and you're screaming at me because you misunderstood. Why'd you keep bringing it up? I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. You I know, I, I, you. I, I don't think you, I don't think you bet on me going and watching that movie. I could care less about that movie. I wish they never made it now, because every time I hear it from you, I want to choke myself. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Okay. It's a comedy. It's no different. It's, it's a comedy. Get over it's it. It's no different than the Naked Gun movies. It's no different than Scary Movie. What's your point? Because I don't think Do those movies. Point? I don't think those movies are real. Right, but do you have a point? Because so it, get to it because I'm I'm you're you're wearing me thin right now. Listen, I, I I'm just I'm crazy because I haven't gotten a job in, since October. Well, that is not my fault. It kind of is a little bit. No, it isn't. If you would take responsibility for your own actions, then I'm I'm over there. I'm looking, and that's the other thing. I can't just look every single day for a job. Why? What do you got to do that's so important? It's not, it's nothing to do with what I have to do. It's just that there's so little jobs I've, I'm actually applying for, like, the same job, like, every day, right? So there is really no point of me going on there so and looking did you for... did get your job coach back? What? Did you get your job coach back? No, she's useless. Okay. Did you get your services back? I guess that would be the question. I don't know. I went for my fair, my quote unquote fair hearing, and I say that because, you know, they say it's fair, but it's not really fair. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just smoke and mirrors to make you feel like, like they're doing something. I went for that yesterday. Oh, okay. So hopefully I do get I, I do get a, a bus pass out of it. And what did they, and what did you tell them when you went for your surgery? I, I told I told them listen, you can't be this is the federal government. You can't be uh, you can't tell me I can't I have to go to counseling because you know that's 
certain certain religious groups are against uh, counseling. Oh, great. So you blew it, huh? What do you mean? Why didn't you just stick with the fact that they were, they were basing it on the fact that you, um, that you had the FBI checking on you? Well, you could have won. But no, instead you got to make up some bullshit. What do you mean? They can't be, they, hey, that's offensive to people. Hey, you're not a Scientologist. Just shut but up. Who said I was? You're not. Who said I was? You did. Or I could be a born again Christian too. No, no, born again Christians go to therapy. Or a Quaker. Okay. Or a what? A Quaker. You're not a Quaker, Michael, please. You why can't you just tell the truth? I I do. No. But it's like that's hardly the truth. And yet you're still calling and yelling at me for some reason. Because because I just want a job, okay? Okay. I feel like I'm just... Michael, listen. When I needed a job, I did whatever I had to do. Which was what? I, I used to clean a church at one point. I'm not doing cleaning jobs. I'm telling you that I did whatever I had to do. I'm not, I'm not some, I'm not a whore, okay? Uh, why are you calling me a whore? I said I'm not a whore. Why would you say that you're not, why, why are you, oh my God, you're, because, how do you live with that mind? Honest to God. What were you going to ask me about? How do you live with all that shit in your head? What I mean by that is I'm not just going to take some job because I'm desperate for money, okay? Okay, then shut up about it. But it's like I just, I want like some kind of data entry job or something. Okay. I don't so want to be cleaning. Listen Where I get, where I get Listen to me, idiot. Are you, you're not listening to me. So let me know when. Go on. When, when it's. Okay. Go on. Oh. Make, then make it work for the other position. What do you mean? Figure out a way to get... You told me that... Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm yelling at you for no reason. Okay. Um... What is this here? Okay. Um... All they have is the afternoon yeah. and the night, right? Yeah. Okay, so then make the afternoon work. I can't. Why not? Because the bus doesn't, the bus doesn't leave, the, the bus doesn't run that late. Okay, but I thought you said that by you living where you are now. Hey. Yeah, for the day shift, for the first shift. All right. Because everything well, is everything. You gotta is, figure something out, Michael. I can't help you on this. You gotta figure it out. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. They. They. Well, they then, purpose. Yo. 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 They purposely put these jobs out in the middle of nowhere. No, they don't. Because so that they don't. So that so that black Michael, people can't. You're an idiot. Well, that's what it said on the news. You're an idiot. You want to call up the news and, and say that they're wrong? Uh-huh. Okay, then do that. But I'm just saying what, what I read. By the way, news. did you see that you guys got shot on uh, Zalmer? No, I didn't. Such a good, such a good area. Yeah, but it's better than Love Joy. Doesn't anyway, matter. Anyway, no. Who cares? You don't get to talk about that neighborhood like that. Did you live in Lovejoy? All right. Lovejoy's the worst neighborhood in, in, in All right, America. so get over it. What is your point? Did, you, did, I tell, did I tell you that when I was in jail about a week ago? I was in jail with, uh, they, I, I, was, I was being arraigned with like, like, like five people that, that did some, that, that were shooting guns off at Juneteenth. 
so? I don't know. I'm just saying. One guy, a guy, one guy was was charged with running over a cop. Yeah, I know. You heard about that? Mm-hmm. I was on. I I, I was in there with those with those homies. Okay. Those are your those are your people. Okay. <laughs> those are my homies. Okay. Get to the point. No, I'm just saying. I, I that 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 that's the kind of people I mean I go I go to jail with, you know. You shouldn't be in jail anyhow. That's besides the point. I know I shouldn't. My uh the latest arrest was politically motivated. Uh huh. It was. I don't know, Michael. <laughs> I don't get I don't get involved in it. It it was poli- I'm a po- I was a political prisoner, okay? No, you weren't, Michael. But anyway, I'm just trying to find a job. Mm-hmm. And I can't find a job. There's nothing okay. there's nothing in Buffalo that I can do. Well, I don't think you're looking hard enough. <laughs> I've been looking for almost nine months. Okay. The, I've been, and I've where put, are you looking? I'm looking. I'm looking all over the internet. Did you put a resume? Did you put a resume on Indeed or anything like that? That's what. I, that's what I use. I use Indeed. I use uh, WNY Jobs. What's the other one I use? Did you? Craigslist. I won't. Um, I won't do Craigslist because that's a lot of weird no, stuff. You don't go on there. That's not. That's not a. Did you go to Monster? Mon. No, I didn't go to Monster. Cause I don't. Don't you have to pay for that or something? Nope. Okay. I know one of them you have to pay for. And then, I, and then it's like it's like I know I know what you and Mark are thinking too. Mark isn't thinking anything because we don't care. I know I I know what you're saying. Why don't you just go door to door like I used to do back when Jimmy oh, Carter was president? They don't, they don't do that. You're an idiot. Back when you know that might that might have worked when Jimmy Carter was president. Okay. Uh huh. Uh-huh. But now you do that, they'll just say, oh, just go to our website or something. I used to go to look in the newspaper. That's where I used to go. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to remember, you got to remember, the only jobs in Buffalo are either, you know, nursing or, like, hospital stuff or truck, okay. truck driver. Why can't you work in a hospital? Because, because I don't like hospitals. Okay. Because, because they're 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 uh they're places that you know, I I feel uh not morally, it's not morally acceptable for me. Okay, then you are limiting yourself then. Yeah, but you wouldn't say that if I wanted I I just wanted a a, a cleaning job. If I, if I said, that's oh, I only a, want cleaning jobs. That's not what I said. Yeah, but you would say that if, if that's what I said. Oh, I only want a cleaning job. You'd be praising me for it. And Mark would be, too. Listen, I don't care if you wipe the jizz off of a... off of a... a, a needy booth. <laughs> Well, I could go to New York okay. City and do that job. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you... You know when I went to New pick, York City... I don't care if you pick corn out of people's shit. You know when I went to New York City... If you're City, happy... I don't care, Michael. If you're I, happy at what you're doing, I don't give a shit what you do. I, I hit the booths in New York City. So have I. Have you? <laughs> Did you really... Yeah. Why? Because I wanted to see what it was like. So, well, oh, they, well, you weren't the one that was doing the dancing. I doubt it. 
What 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 what'd you do when you didn't you didn't you didn't play with yourself in there? Michael. I did. We're not talking about this. I don't want to know about it. I'm like Sal the stockbroker. I don't want to know about it. I just want to know what do you expect me to do? I guess that's my, my point. What is your point of this phone call? Listen, I just... I, your negativity is pissing me off. And I, you're, I, I, you're about a half an inch away from getting hung up on I, I'm, listen, I'm just, I'm just fed off, and I'm vent. I understand that. You don't want me to do, I totally get it. you don't want me to do videos? Well, then we need an alternative to the videos. Get a job like normal people. I, I tried. For, see, for, there's, see if there's jobs at the library. See, see if there's, there's what? See if there's, go to the library and see if there's a job at the library. Look on the civil service exams. I, I, I tried a job at the library. They didn't hire me there either. I'm telling you, I'm going for all these jobs. You don't, see you and Mark think that I'm, I'm like this lazy, you know, piece of shit that just sits around and, and, and plays video games and eats and jerks off all day. Dear you, God. You realize that I'm going on interviews. I'm trying to get a job. You do realize that, right? I'm not Scott. Sure. I'm not Scott, okay? Okay. I don't just sit around and, 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 and eat and, and play video games and smoke weed and and do all this other stuff and jerk off all day. I'm trying to get a job. I know you make videos too. I, I yeah, I do that too. But whatever. You can't just be looking for a job all all day and night. And it doesn't have any it has nothing to do with well, what else you have to do? No, it has to do with there's, you, you know, you can't just, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just sit there and apply for the same job over and over and over and over again? That's not going to do anything either. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So, I don't know why you, you and Mark thinks I'm like, I'm like this lazy person. I never said that. Mark, uh, you, you, you probably... You, I don't know. When is the last time you talked to Mark? I don't know. Well, then you don't know what he thinks. I, listen, I know Mark like the back of my hand, okay? You don't know shit. I, I know how he acts. I know, I know... I probably know Mark better than he knows himself. I... Doubt it. Seriously though, I mean, you think I'm I'm with my autism and all that? You think I'm just unaware? No, I'm very aware of my surroundings. Okay, what's your point, the Michael? Point, the pro point is, is that I just don't, I just don't express that, and I've learned throughout the years to not express it. Because I don't want to be called Karen, okay? I have no idea where this is all coming from. Well, you know how Karen knows everything from like 50 years ago? Uh huh. I don't like being called Karen. So, like, I notice stuff. I notice more than you think. I just don't like All to. Right. I just don't like to bring it up. He doesn't be like, okay, Karen, knowing everything from 20 years ago. Okay, whatever. What is your point? My Do point. You have to make a point in this whole 15 minutes. I have. I'm trying to make a point that there's no work in Buffalo. There is none. I've probably done all the jobs that there is in Buffalo. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. That I can do. See, let's see here. Even, let's see here. Even if I even if I wanted a cleaning job at this point, okay, I couldn't even get a cleaning job. Because? Because I've worked pretty much all the cleaning jobs. That's not true. I probably it probably is true. You know. All right. Well, look at the job that you just walked off of. Nothing wrong with that job you had at BJ, so it doesn't affect it was way out. No, it wasn't way out from where I was. Well, well, I mean, I mean that was that was, that was kind of a mistake. I admit that. That was a huge mistake. It was a mistake, but you know what? I I couldn't I couldn't live my, with myself, you know, slamming in the cars. I would have been held. Well, uh, I didn't know that you were slamming in the cars. Not on purpose. No, you just you just uh, you told everybody something else. Well, it was a comedy. Told everybody that you quit the job because they wanted to use you for their. It was a combination. Of, or some bullshit. It was, it was a combination of things. But yeah, I mean, you I was. Tell me that you damaged people's cars. It wasn't on on purpose. It's because because the, that that parking lot's like on a hill, okay? Uh huh. And you know, I was pulling the carts in and out of the parking lots and whatnot. And you know, a couple times I've like I've you know, I lost some of the carts and they went they went down the hill and they hit a car. The parked car, like I like, didn't do any damage, but it hit the car, and I didn't tell okay. anyone. But I was afraid that one day I, I was going to hit the car so bad and I would get caught, you know? Uh-huh. Wow. Well, then, then I'd be to be arrested or something. Okay. Or somebody's going to get mad. But, you know, I don't know. Was that my fault? No, it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. Why do you think it was your fault? Because you didn't for everything. Not that. But it's like it's like they, you know, the jobs that I want are too far out for me. Okay. I understand and, that. And and it's like I could have had a job out in East Aurora at the Fisher Fisher Price place. Mm-hmm. Why can't that be downtown? Well, why can't you why can't you take the initiative to go in uh you know, find a way to get out there? There is no buses that go out there. Well there are ways to do it. You just gotta figure it There's, out. I I've already looked into it. There are no buses that go all the way out to East Aurora. Okay. Tell me, is there a bus that goes out to Brian's house? There isn't. Yes. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Well, then how do you do it? I don't know, Michael. I've lo I've looked in the go. Nor do I care. I don't. I don't. I I've looked in the go in there, and it they don't. They, they there is no bus. They even You're said that adult. there's no bus. You are an adult. Yeah, but that's the Take problem. They, I'm telling you, they put the, these companies put their their places all the way out in the middle of nowhere for because they don't want black people to apply. Well, the attitude, the attitude is just lovely. What? I, I you know I can't understand why people won't hire you. Your attitude blows. Well, that's the truth. That is not the truth. That's what it said on the news. I don't believe so, Michael. They said. You believe. That's what they said on the news. You believe that Fisher Price opened up a, a place out in East Aurora so that they didn't have to hire black people? Yeah, and also any other jo jobs like that. 
Oh anywhere else that's in, in the middle of nowhere. That they, is not it. What? That is not it. Well, why else do they uh, do they go all the way out there when it could have just been downtown? I really don't know what to tell you. I read that, but you know, you have when it's on the news, it's you know they're telling the truth, right? When it's on the news. Not necessarily. All right. What I mean, the thing is, is that it was on the news, and that's where I got it from, okay? So you're saying that the news is lying? Yes, Michael, I'm saying the news is lying. Okay. Let me, let me just put it this way. I really don't care either. I do, because this is my career on the line. Okay? Uh-huh. I, 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 well, when you go into places with, with this shitty attitude, you know, I mean, really. No reason why, you know. They're, they're always trying to keep the black man down, you know what I'm saying? I, you've got about four more minutes, and I'm going to hang up because you're an idiot. Uh, why do you say that? Because you're talking like an idiot. You're not, you're not making any sense whatsoever. I am making sense. Michael, when did you become black? We're all black. Okay. Listen, so the, the word, the name, happen? okay, the name Constantino, okay? That is a, that yes. is an Italian name, right? Yes. It, it sounds Italian, at least. Right? Yes. Can we agree on that? Yes, get your point. Well, the Moors conquered Italy, so that means yes, all, I know. all all Italians are black. No, the Moors. The there Moors were already there. What? There were already people there. The no, because that we're all part black. Okay, because the Italians. So were, what is your point? Were blue eyed and and blonde haired, and then when the no, Moors that was from the northern that was from northern Italy. And then when the when the when the Moors the Moors were black they were they were blacker than than you know like the uh, you know African blacks. Yeah yeah yeah. So you know when when they came. When they conquered Italy, they, they uh, we're part black, okay? We, What's your point? I, I got brown care. hair and brown eyes. No, your eyes are not brown. Yeah, they are. They're actually blue. But anyway. All right. That, that, so I'm black. Okay, so go get a, go get a, uh, uh, a job, you know, be a black man. Yeah. We're, 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 uh, we're probably, you know, you realize that, that our family is probably, you know, eligible for, like, slave reparations. No, no, no reparations. <laughs> you know, you realize... You realize okay, that we two could, more minutes because you're an idiot. We can say the N word without being Really? I'd like to see you do that. Because <laughs> we we uh you know does it You've matter? never been hurt. You've never been hit in uh in anger. I would love to see your ass beat by somebody that's pissed off at you. Like who? Wh whoever. What, what, what does that have to do with anything? Because you're you're speaking like a retard right now. I'm just I'm just saying I'm just saying you know you know I might as well just start calling myself you know like Tyrone or something. What? I I might as well just start calling myself Tyrone. 
Okay, Tyrone, you do what you gotta do. Or Eugene. <laughs> I don't there know. There you go. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> you do what you've gotta do. Right, I because mean, you're black, I'm black, Mark's black, Scott's black, okay. Dad's black, his his okay. parents his parents are are you know are you know what do you call it black is coal you know what I'm saying not really but that's okay I mean they're they're light skin blacks that's uh -huh. what, that's what you call it we're light skin black people okay because because according to the one drop rule. You know the what? The, the what? what? The one drop rule. And what is that? That's that's like if you have one drop of black blood in you, you're black. Okay. It's like it's like once you, again, do you have a point? Yeah, I do. I'm black. So. So power to the people. Yeah, power to the people. Get off my phone. You realize, like like Obama, okay, is is uh they always call him the first black president. Why is that? I don't know, Michael. Even though he's 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 half black and half white. His mother was white. Hey, but they just so say the first point? black president because of the one drop rule. They don't say the first biracial or mixed president. Right? Okay. I'm making this a point because I, I think I can go with the affirmative action angle. Yeah, you can't. It doesn't even work out like that anymore. So, good luck on that one. But, I mean, so every time they ask you what your race is, just put black. Okay, you do that. Yeah. Well, I'm just tired of this, uh, I'm tired of, of, of getting turned down for jobs, you know. Well, I, I understand. I'm tired of it. it. Listen, there's people, I don't understand how people live, okay? I don't understand how people live. There's people out there. That you know they can they can get they can get fired from a job and then they have another job like a day later. I don't understand how people do that. Why well, I can do that? I don't. I how how do you do that? I have a career. What do you mean? I can walk in any hospital and get any job I want. How, though? Because I have a degree. I mean, it has nothing to do with degrees. Sure it does. Because I'm not even talking about you. I'm talking about other people, okay? Just, just like anybody, anybody, anybody else that says, you know, oh, yeah, I got fired for my, this job, you know, at McDonald's, and now I have another job two days later. It makes no sense. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't be jealous of other people like that. But I just want to know how they're doing it. The same thing with apartments, too. How is it, how is it that people can, you know, break up with their girlfriend or boyfriend, and then, like, magically, they have another apartment just lined up for them. I don't understand. I don't know if I've ever been in that position. Well, I don't know. I don't know how people can do it, but, you know, when it, but then it takes me, like, it takes me almost, you know, five years to get out of love joy. You know? Uh -huh. There's a problem here. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. You know? 
It doesn't, it doesn't take somebody five years to get an apartment, okay? It doesn't take somebody, you know, almost a year to get another job, is what I'm saying. And it's getting to that point, it's getting to that point where, I think the problem is, is like, when, when, when you're out of work, employers start there and start asking, why have you been out of a job for this long? It's a really ridiculous question. I wish they would stop ask, asking that. Uh huh. Because because I'm just trying to find a job. I you know because then it gets that like I said like I said when I said I don't want to be a whore. You know, that's what I meant by that. Because at All that right. point at that point you're just expected to take any old job that you hate just so that you can get a job, just so that you can be working. And I'm not doing that. I'm not taking no no cleaning job again. Uh-huh. Just so that it just so that it so that I don't have a gap in my employment. Uh-huh. I've done I've and Mark wants me to do that because he doesn't want me to be successful. So it's like okay. he, he wants to be he wants to be the he, he wants to be the boss of the family. So that's why he's all, the only one being successful. Uh huh. And the only one that even came close to being successful besides him is Anthony. Yeah. And guess what? You said that him and Anthony have a rivalry now. Uh huh. And that's why. Uh, no. That is why. No, it's not. Why is it? It is for, um, the fact that he owes, that Anthony owes Mark money. Anthony probably makes more than Mark. No, he doesn't. As a cop. No, he doesn't. Or at least okay. about the same. You didn't know that? I'm sorry? Cops make a lot of money. Okay. And he's probably making, like, Mark money. Like, like, on the same level. Nope. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Well, I don't know. I, I, I know Eugene's brother makes more money than Mark. Okay. Uh huh. So, I don't. Know. He's been uh, Anthony's been on the force for like thirty years or something like that. Should be making uh -huh. more. I don't know. So a lot wrong with Mark. I'm telling you that much. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. So he owes him money, and that's it. Yeah, it's a lot of money. What do you what do you, what do you borrow money for? To buy a car. Oh really? Mhm. Oh well, at least he's not going around buying drugs like Scott. And what is your point? The point is that Scott's worse. Well, whatever. I'm just tired. I'm just tired of the, my life and how it's been, how I've been dealt a crummy hand. Uh huh. You know, like poker hands. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm tired of it. It's like you almost oh, get you, you almost get that royal flush. You ever notice when you get that royal flush, you're like, <gasps> and then you're all pissed off that you didn't get that royal flush. All right. So I feel the same way. All right. 
but it's always it's always the the you know the royal flush never comes through. Uh huh. Yeah. So you know how I feel. So what's your point, Michael? The point is, is that I just want a job, you know. And what do you want me to do about it? I want you to correct all the stuff you you wronged me for. Too late, Michael. Sue me. Cause that's a sue me. You know. I want to sue me. A lot of my a lot of my problems is that I I can't get a job because I don't have a car or I don't have a dr uh -huh. driver's license because I can't get out to certain jobs you know. It's like I try to I try I can't even get out to you know Fisher Price. Uh huh. Because I don't have a, a, a car. No buses go out there. Okay. But, I mean, it's all because of that cold turkey movie. All right. I'm sorry, but that movie's bad. Well, you're an idiot. I'm an idiot because that movie's bad? Yep. What does that mean? I don't know what you're doing, Michael. You know, what do you mean? What do you mean? I want a, I want a job. And I'm fed up. I'm fed up with, with, with this. I, sh I should just retire right now. you got to have a job to retire from, Michael. Yeah. Huh? I'm... You don't understand how this makes me feel. Okay? You don't uh -huh. understand. You don't understand. I don't think you understand what I'm going through. Okay. Okay? No, I understand. Because you were just handed jobs throughout your, your life. No, I wasn't. You know... Yeah, you were. You you could get a job anywhere. You said. You can walk. That's true. You can walk into a hospital and get any job that day. Yep. Which makes no sense. Yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm eating out of out of the dumpster. You're eating out of dumpsters because you want to. Yeah, that's true. I'm a, I'm cheap. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't take, I can't stand this, 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 this crap anymore. Everything in Buffalo is, is, is out. Of, it's just barely outside the, uh, the bus route, so that black people can't, can't get the, get a job there. Well, it has nothing to do with you, though. I'm black. I get that makes every, that, that has everything to do with me. Okay, and now I'm now I'm getting a headache, so I'm not really sure what you want from me. But whatever it is, you better. I'm. You I'm. Better get I got. I, I said I'm fed up. I'm fed up with these. You know what? I don't know. It's not like you helped me at all in my life anyway. Why start? No, that's now? right. I don't do anything to help you. Why start now, right? So, are you here to piss me off? Is that what you're doing? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I want to be as successful as Mark. All right. And, you know, if Mark doesn't like that, then he, you know, he doesn't have to like that. Okay. I want Mark to come to me for loans. Well, I'm if he's looking to, you know, wear a battle vest that doesn't fit him, then, you know, I don't know what you can loan him. What does that mean? This doesn't fit you. Yeah, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's can you close it? What? Can you close it? You're not supposed to close it. Yeah, you are, actually.
<laughs> you're not. Okay, Michael. I don't even think. No, it doesn't even have the thing to close it with. It just looks badass. That's all. No, it doesn't. I look, I look hot in that thing. Oh yes, you certainly do. You absolutely do. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And pe yeah. people hate me when I wear that too. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, we all do, Michael. You know, people that wanted me, people that got me arrested, hate me because I wore that. Uh -huh. That's why I. That's why they come after. That's why they hate me because they wear that. Is that why? I think so. No, I, I don't think it's because of that. But I know they do hate when I wear it. Because it's like cultural appropriation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like that's our that's our culture. You're not allowed to wear our. It's like it's like when 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 me as a as a as a as a black man uh -huh. goes around and wears like a Chinese dress or something or an Indian you know feathers or whatever. Uh huh. It's the same thing. All right. Yeah. It's like would you wear would you wear a a, a feather a feather? If you're not an Indian? No, absolutely. You would? Sure, it's sticking up my ass. <laughs> Why? Because I could. Could you? I don't think that I don't think that would would would, would you do it like with the with the feather part first or the or the pointy part first? Whatever I felt like. Oh. Alright, well. Anyway, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to vent. Uh, yeah, well, you're not venting, you're yelling at me. I mean, so... aren't, aren't you, aren't you glad I'm not doing a video? You could do a video, and then just let me know when, and I will... I will get on and I will I will put I will put all the information that you need. And there's a video up already. What? Yeah, I, I said I, there's already a video up already. Okay. And you're talking shit about me on it? Uh no. Good. Somebody all somebody already Commented, have you considered living in love joy? F them. Uh huh. Love joy, stupid. Okay. Yeah. Look at this, look at this, uh, I guess Mama Scrunch was what right, you need to listen to her and quit being a big baby. This is something yeah. else. There you go. And, and what am I listening to you for? Because you're a big baby. Yeah, but you get your ideas from a, from a fake movie. Oh, and by the way, no, that, that 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 part in that movie didn't even happen. Michael. What? I just don't care. I do because that's that's what my my life was based on. It was based but on. But I a, don't care. It was based on a movie, a part in a movie that didn't even happen in the movie. Uh -huh. I watched the movie. Unless you're watching like like the 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 unrated version. I don't know what you're talking about, Michael. You like the, like the, me a long uh, time unless ago. you're watching like the the uh, you know the director's cut or something of that movie, then maybe there's a part in there that that happens. 
But I don't know. I just I just downloaded a just a regular movie on on you know whatever, and I watched it. Maybe I should go back and 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 watch like maybe like the the extended cut or something. Uh-huh. Or the deleted scenes. But then again, you said you saw the movie back in the 80s. You were saying this back when I was a kid. I have no idea what you're you, talking you about, you Michael. You wouldn't be able to see the, the deleted scenes back then. Uh-huh. So you thought that that happened in this movie. Somehow. I don't care. I'm wondering... You know what I'm wondering is if you didn't watch an, uh, that movie and another movie like around the same time, and you kind of like, it, it, you know, you kind of blended together. Is that true? Yeah. You 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 know that it was from Cold Turkey. Yep. Really. Because that doesn't yeah. happen in cold turkey. I'm sorry. You're sorry what? It does. It does happen in that movie. Yes. Yeah. I, I I watched it. it. I don't. I never. That, that 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 never. That part was never on there. Uh-huh. I I watched the movie and and that never happened in the movie. There was no part in that movie where somebody gets run over because he's... Nobody! Nobody, I never said anybody got run over. Alright, what is the part, what what happens in this part, again? The part is where the guy's waiting for a, he's waiting for a parking spot. Mm-hmm. And somebody and somebody pulls in while he's waiting, and the guy said, "But," and he turns around and turns into the back of him. That doesn't the happen. That, the, that, that doesn't happen in the movie either. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. There's no part in there where where any kind of car accident happens. He just. Pulls his car into the guy because the guy was waiting for his parking spot and the other guy took it. And rather than him just saying, well, screw it, he slams his car into the back of the other guy. And that's because everybody was on edge because they were all quitting smoking and they just, they don't have any... Um, uh, there's a word I'm looking for, and I, I don't know, but you they don't have any impulse. Now. They don't have any control. Yeah, they don't have any impulse control. Yeah, but that right. doesn't happen in the movie. The only part okay, Michael. There's, 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 the only part that involves cars in that movie is when they were checking the cars to see if anyone was bringing cigarettes into the into the city or something. They were in the parking. They were in a parking lot. I don't know. I watched that movie, and that that never happened. Oh well, what can I tell you? I mean, it doesn't matter anymore, Michael. It does. It does because it really I. It really doesn't. Do I have to watch this movie again? Sure, go ahead. Do I really want to? Sure, go ahead. E- even, even my kitties said they watched the movie and that doesn't happen. All right. Like I, I said, that's your homework. I said that's gonna be your your kitty homework. You gotta watch Cold Turkey and see if this, uh-huh. this part even happens. And even they said no, there's no part like that. So that's what I'm saying. There has to, you, you must have seen this movie. You must have seen this movie at like the drive-in or something. 
okay? Where they, where they I have, don't like, know. Two or three movies together. Mm-hmm. And and they they just played all three of them, and they must they no, must Michael. Be, it must have blended together. No, Michael. It happens sometimes. Oh my God, <laughs> this conversation has to end because I'm just I really I'm just I'm so tired of listening to you. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're driving me nuts. I'm tired of not having a job. Well, this is not my fault. You keep saying that, but in a way it is. It's not. I would have been a better person had that movie never came out. No, Michael. You'd have been a better person if you could control yourself. And I could. I could control myself. I think uh-huh. a lot of my problems stem from you. Well, you seem to blame them on me, at least. Well, I mean, I mean, I think a lot of my problems is like, you know, you say I can't control myself when I, when I, when I really could. So, I mean, you keep say I keep thinking that, well, I can't control myself. I, you start to believe that. Uh-huh. You know, you keep saying... You know, every time I go into the, like, the the shrink. Why don't you go see a shrink? Because they're evil. Anyway, well, you go. Uh, you take, and you're not. And I'm not. I go. You know, you take me to all these Yahoo shrinks. And uh, where? What's the, what they always say? What do you hear voices? And I say no. And then what do you always do? Oh, that's a lie. How the hell do you know you? I'm not hearing voices or not, right? How do you know what I'm thinking? What's going on in my head? Probably doesn't care either. What? They probably do not care either. Well, they do care if they're at the shrinks asking if I hear voices. Then you have to respond to to them like, oh, he knows how to answer that question. Uh huh. How about how about how about you just believe me and just say and and you know I'm not hearing voices. Well, because you lie. I lie. Yeah, and but how do you, how do you know that I'm not, I am or not? I don't. You don't. But no. then again, one more time, don't care. Yeah, but that 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 behavior that you do has gotten me misdiagnosed throughout the years. Uh huh. Yeah. Because you know, and then and then whenever whenever a shrink doesn't diagnose me with whatever you want me want them to, they're just useless. They're, uh-huh. they're useless. We're we'll go to another we'll go to another Yahoo shrink. Uh huh. We'll make sure you get that. We'll make sure you get that schizophrenia diagnosis that I want. You know. Uh huh. We'll get. We'll make sure you got that. You know, autism. You know, diagnosis that I want from from him. Uh huh. It's you know what it you know what it's called it's called Munchausen syndrome. No, it's not. That's what it is. Munchausen syndrome by proxy. No, it's not, Michael. You know what that is? Yes, I know what it is. That's what you got. Yeah, I don't think so. Because you're always making up diseases. Right. Oh, and by the way, I caught you in another lie a couple of days ago. Why? Well, what did I do now? Uh, you claimed that you called up the police, and they said it was because I, I said I wanted to pet the lesbian cat. That's why they wanted me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you remember say, saying that? No. You don't remember saying that? I got it screenshotted. Yeah, I don't remember, Michael. You don't remember. Here, I'll send it to you right now. Yeah, well, I'm busy right now, so I don't need any of this shit, so... You said, you said... And then it turns out it has nothing to do with them, so... 
The charge, the charge has nothing to do with them. Okay. Yeah. Because you kept saying I was rewriting history. Okay. Which, which by the way, that that's not even an accurate saying when you say that. I I, All right. I I can't rewrite history, by the way. Yeah, All right. Because right? because that's that's what they say. They say that that history is written by the victors. Uh huh. Which means uh. Which means that it you know you're pretty much acknowledging that I'm I'm. I won. So that means if I, if I can rewrite history, then I'm the victor. Okay. So either either I see I just sent you the, the screenshot. But anyway, All right. um, yeah. So if if I'm the victor, then I can rewrite history. So you're saying that I am the victor here. I have no idea. Or what are you're you saying. saying? Or no? Or or are you saying that I don't win? If I don't win, then I can't rewrite history. Okay? All right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Only only the victors can rewrite history. Okay? Uh -huh. So what you're saying is if I'm rewriting history, then I'm the victor in whatever you know, argument that I'm saying, I'm, we're doing, right? Uh-huh. So, if I'm the victor, or or if I'm not the victor, then I can't rewrite history. So, either I'm the one that, that that's the victor here, or you're the victor and you're rewriting history. All right. Does that make sense? Sure. No, yes or no, does it make sense? I don't know, Michael. But that's that's what people say. That's what people say that 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 history is written by the victors. Okay? Yes. So that means if if I'm if I'm if I'm victorious that means that I, I could rewrite history. So by you saying that I'm rewriting history, just means this te this, this, you're just acknowledging that I'm right and I'm victorious over that situation. Uh huh. So either I could rewrite history, or I'm not the victor in the situation. So pick one. Sure, you're the you're you're the man. Yeah. You can you can go you can go and look that up. Well, maybe some days we've got nothing else to do. So did you get my text message? No. Oh well, you gotta check it. Well, when it comes in, I will. Yeah, probably on, on your phone right now. It did not beep, so it's not here. Well, you're on the phone, that's why. Yeah, you'll get it when it when I when you get off the phone. Uh, hang on, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, he said. You're being charged for b threatening to break in their house and pet their cat. And then I wrote LOL. Then then you write I don't even know what that says. I think I think I think you said I don't know what that says, but you wrote like Y R U T G I don't know what that is. Call the police, that's what they told me. And then, and then I actually called the police. They said they couldn't give that information on the phone. Then when I went went in there to turn myself in, it had nothing to do with those women. 
and I should I uh-huh. should be, I should be sending them like a fifty dollar Amazon card to thank them for not you know pressing charges for me being at 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 the pride parade. Okay. Because I don't know, they seem like they actually seem like they're decent people. Okay. So I I don't know. Did you get that message? Did you get the the screenshot? It's downloading. It's downloading. Yep. Should I just put it on Facebook? No, Michael. Because I don't I don't look at your Facebook. <laughs> And I don't, and I, um, wait a minute, what is this here? Oh, let's see what I got here. Yes, okay. So. You got it? Don't wait for it to download. No. Why does it take so long? I don't know. Well, probably because I'm on the phone. Oh. Probably because you got a bad phone, too. Could be. You don't, you, you don't, you got the welfare phone. Uh huh. <clears throat> so, yeah. Could you imagine, if, could you imagine if that's the case? If that was the case, that I got charged for breaking it, for, for for wanting to pet somebody's cat, could you imagine that? Could you imagine being the the uh, the prosecutor in that case, Michael Constantino? You're being accused of wanting to pet a cat. Could you imagine your claim to fame is is busting the guy that wanted to pet a cat? I have no idea, Michael. No. I I actually did say that too, but it was like it was supposed. It was just stupid. Uh huh. I say stupid things on my on my YouTube. No, really. Sometimes. And I I was probably high too when I said it, right? I don't recall. Yeah, I was probably high. So they can't actually get me on that anyway. They can't actually, if, even if they wanted to, they can't. Because you know why? I didn't say it. It was the weed talking. Uh-huh. Yeah. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna, then, and arrest the weed then, you know? Because the weed said it, not me. All right. It's, it's already laying. It's the whis. It's like it's the whiskey talking, but it's like it's the weed talking, you know. Uh huh. And when I get high, I say stupid things. You know the feeling. You, you're already repeating yourself over and over. I've heard this. I've heard this conversation before. Okay. And now I'm getting bored with it. Yeah. Let's well, see. How long have you been rambling? Hang on. Let me check. One hour, eighteen minutes and thirty-seven seconds. <laughs> Come on, you you yes. have you have you have the the, the the countdown. There's a timer on my phone. Yeah, no, it's on my phone too. And hold up, hold up, hold up. One hour and nineteen seconds now. What can I tell you? Yeah. Yeah, but listen, I want a job. Yeah. I want a job. I want a job now. I'm not Scott, okay? Uh huh. We've had this conversation. You know that, right? So how do I get a job? Look at the newspaper. Uh. Who 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 goes on the, in the newspaper anymore though? I don't know. That's where I used to find mine. Yeah, back when Jimmy Carter was president. 
They're so funny. I almost forgot to laugh. What do you mean? It wasn't supposed to be a joke. I know. But it's not funny. It's not. How's it funny, though? It wasn't supposed to be a joke. It's like, it's like, because when, when Dad got his job, was like, what, 1975? Mm-hmm. So that means... And then when he left his job, um, he was, he found two jobs within two weeks, within two days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he quit those because there was ghosts there. Yeah, that makes that that that's sane. What? Didn't he quit some job because because there were ghosts or something in the place? No. Oh, I I thought it was some place he quit because he because he heard there was ghosts or something. No. Well, why did he quit those? Um, he doesn't feel like he didn't feel like working there. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I thought, I thought, I swear there was somebody that quit a job because they, they thought that it was, that they had ghosts in the place. I have no idea. Maybe it was you. Maybe you quit a job at the hospital because it, it had, it had a, it had a ghost in there. Talk about, I don't think so. Talk about psychosis, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about psychosis. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but uh, but you know I got I got the psych I I I'm the one that that goes through the the psychotic breakdowns right. Mhm. Mm yeah. You realize. You realize all those psychotic breakdowns happened because of the medication I was on, right? Right. Those caused those psychotic breakdowns. Mm -hmm. The best thing you could have done was, was, was never put me on medication. I didn't do that. Who did? The doctor. Yeah, but you have a say. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta say. You've been like, no, I don't want him on, 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 on meth. Okay. You realize that that Ritalin I was taking is pretty much meth, right? Not really, but... Yeah, it is. Okay. It's the same exact thing. As meth, except when you're when you're doing Ritalin, it's pretty much just a branded version of meth. Okay. Except for when you're doing Ritalin, you're just taking a way lower dose than somebody that's like smoking meth off the street, you know. Uh -huh. But yeah, it is meth. Okay. Which actually, which actually, when you when when, it, when you think of it like that. Ma uh, the Ritalin was actually heavier drugs than than doing weed. Mm -hmm. You realize that you had me on heavier mm -hmm. drugs than weed, but you're okay. gonna you're gonna sit there and and demonize me for you know eating a no. piece of butter, right? Okay. Yeah, demonize it. You got you gotta remember something. Who got who who started me out on the weed? You know. I don't know. You did. Who did I steal it from? I don't know. You did, or I did. I stole it from you. Or dad, 
or whoever you want to say it was. Okay. So, I mean, what's your point? You still haven't told me yet. The point is, I want a job, and I'm, I'm just tired. Uh, uh, I'm just tired of having stuff flash before my eyes and then take it away. It's like I, I do all this work for nothing. Uh-huh. And you don't think that's a problem? You don't think that's a problem that I do all this work for nothing? No. Why? Because I have no idea what you're talking about, Michael. I threw it out a, a while ago, so... I, I'm you sitting don't here working. You, I don't know why you're driving me crazy. You don't think that it's a problem? I think it's a huge problem, but I'm trying to work here. You get a job and I don't. This is great. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I have several jobs, too, so, I mean, that's because I have a degree. Yeah. Right. Well... You have you have several jobs, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. I mean, I don't know what you want from me, Michael, but... I want a job. Yes, I understand that. Yeah. But you're, if you really wanted a job, you would make it work. I'm trying to. I, yeah, what the fuck? But I, I can't, I, I can't, what do you call it? I can only do so much. Mm hmm I can only do so much here, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, if I wanted a job, you know, what am I going to do? How do I make that work? What, just take any job that I could find? Why don't you take yeah. any job that you could find? I don't have to. Why don't Mark take any job he can find? Uh, you don't, you, he doesn't have to either. Mark, Mark couldn't do my job. Did you have a job? No, but he wouldn't. He, he couldn't do a cleaning job. He doesn't have to. And neither do I. I don't. I don't want to be the cleaner. Okay. Well, just can't tell you. I'd rather just not work ever again than, than have to do a cleaning job. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to be the cleaner. I never did. I never did. I should have never taken that first cleaning job. I regret it from day one. I should have never taken that goddamn first cleaning job. Because now, now I have to take cleaning jobs or else I don't work. It's like I, I should okay. never give anybody an inch because then they'll just take a mile. Okay. You know, 
Got, I, that's why I gotta stick to my guns here. From now on. Got, you have to do it. You have to stick to your guns, and there's no compromise. Cannot compromise with anyone, or else they will walk all over you. Okay. You understand, right? Uh -huh. I can't compromise with anybody. Okay. You can't be open to anything, because then, because then, when you're when you're open, that means. That means people just come in and just walk all over you. Okay. You can't say that you're open to this or that, because then what'll happen is, then then you're locked into that. Then then it's like, oh, well you said you were open to this. Now you're not. Well then you're not. You're limiting yourself. Well, it's a limit. You, you you realize you realize that my job coach lost her job, and she and the only jobs that are available were were these stupid cleaning jobs. You think she would be taking a cleaning job? No, she would be trying to try to get another a job coach job. Uh -huh. like I can't stand life anymore. I don't know what to tell you, Michael. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I need to get out of Buffalo. No one wants to believe me. No one wants to believe me. Every time, every time you're just being paranoid. Meanwhile, I'm getting arrested left and right. And you don't see this as a problem? I'm being arrested left and right here, okay? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got a pack of angry lesbians on me, okay? Uh -huh. I got, I got people that want me, want me dead, that want me in behind bars for, for putting on peaceful, non-violent protests, okay? So I say I should just move out of Buffalo, away from everybody that I know. Uh huh. And maybe I could start my life over again. Possibly uh -huh. go to another another area that has better jobs, other than cl uh, than cleaning or nursing or you know d driving a truck. Which, I, which, you know, one of those jobs I can't even do because of certain movies from the 70s that we're not going to mention names of. Right. Can't do, can't, can't do something that you want to do because that's too far for you. We put those jobs out there so that black people can't apply, so that poor people Michael? can't apply. Michael? What? I don't really care about it. I don't care either. I don't. I think the whole thing is ridiculous. Whatever I saw on the news, I thought it was ridiculous. What am I... What, 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 what am what are they saying that black people can't get cars? I don't know. Eugene seems to be driving a car. Okay. I don't know why they think black people can't get cars all of a sudden. It's like how people want 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 there to be you have to show ID to vote and they somehow yeah. think that's uh -huh. racist cuz somehow black people can't get ID. I don't understand. It's that stupid crap, but you know what? There is a reason why they put those places out in the middle of nowhere. There has to be. 
There has to be a reason. Uh-huh. You know, if it's not, if it's not to keep certain groups away, there has to be a reason. You know? There's no reason why a place like like that can't exist downtown. Well, my phone just puzzled. I don't know what to tell you. Because in ev- any other city, those place, those kind of places would exist on a bus route. No. Those places would exist on a bus route. Okay. You go to New York City, all the jobs in New York City are on a bus route or a train route. Well, then we'll get New York City. You know, any other place, those places, it wouldn't be in some remote suburb in the middle of nowhere. Who okay. thought that was a good idea? And then, the, and, and then you go on these, then you go on these job websites, and they're always hiring for that place. Because they can't find anybody. They've been trying to hire people since for like five years for that, that job. And they can't hire people for it. Because cause they made sure that it's out in the middle of nowhere. With, with, uh, black people can't get out there. Yeah. Because they, they think people that, that ride the bus are riff, is just riff raff. So they make sure that you have to have a car to get out there. That's what it is. No, I get it. That's why they, they purposely put that crap down in the middle of nowhere. Fisher Price could exist in, in, in downtown. But it doesn't. It has to exist. It has to exist in, in, in the bad area, in, in East Aurora, okay? Okay. It has to exist out in the middle of nowhere for some reason. You know, I could get a job at Amazon, but guess what? That's out uh-huh. in the middle of nowhere. Uh-huh. It's like in the middle of, like, that's like, that's like going out to, like, Alden Prison. It's all the way out near Alden Prison. What about it? There's no, there's, you can't get out there. Yeah, you can. Because how do you think people get out there to see their family members? They, they don't. They have to drive. No, there's a bus. No, there and isn't. I know, and I know this for a fact because I know there's a bunch of girls I used to work with. Their boyfriends or whatever work in prison. And they all used to get together, and they would they would meet the bus, and the bus would take them there. When I went when when Scott was in Alden, I looked up the bus route. There was it said there was no bus route to go out there. Yeah, there are. There aren't. And how would you know? You don't take the bus. You wouldn't know this anyway. Yeah, I just told you how you want. Because because her boyfriend is in jail. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I look it up. There's no there's no bus that go out to Alden Prison. So I was so I was so I was so afraid of going to Alden when I when I was in jail because there's no way to get out there. Uh huh. Yeah. So I would be out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. So I can't get a girlfriend around here either. Oh my God, Michael! I don't know what you want me to do about it. I wish I was born somewhere else. Well, I can't help. Yeah. 
you're the one that's up at, uh, at uh, Toronto for yourself, so. What about Toronto? Well, Why do you bring had, up Toronto? If you had been a dick, you would have been able to go to Toronto anytime you wanted to. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is, you and Dad chose to live in Buffalo. Uh-huh. You didn't choose, and, and on top of living in Buffalo, you chose to live in the most dangerous and most, you know, there's no reason for anybody to ever live in Lovejoy, ever. Okay? Okay, Michael. All right, Michael. You, you, you and Dad could have moved to New York City and raised me in New York City, and I'd be happy. Okay, you do that. But you didn't. You wanted, you wanted me to live in the second biggest city in, in, in New York. When you could, well, I could have just as easily lived in the first biggest. I, I can't stand my life anymore. Well, I suggest that you um, get counseling. No, no, because Scientologists don't take do counseling. Okay, let me know when you be, when you become a Scientologist. Okay. Uh, how, how about I am now? Right. Uh -huh. And what plane are you on? What? And what plane are you on? What plane? I don't know. I don't care. Does it matter? Well, yes. If you're a Scientologist. Well, is Dad a Catholic? How many times does he go yeah. to church every week? Doesn't matter. You don't have to go to church. But he does. He wants to believe in the in 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 the in the good word. I cannot tell you, Michael. He wants to call himself a cat. I can call myself a Scientologist. How about this? How about this? I'm I'm a non-strict Scientologist. How's that sound? I don't know, Michael. It's a sound How many times does does Brian go to Jewish thing? I don't know. He's not really Jewish. Michael, yes, he is. He's not that. He's not that strict, though. No, he's not. He's not a zealot. <laughs> he's like, oh shit. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't have to be. I don't have to be a. Uh, what do you call it? A. Uh, a radical. Scientologist. Uh huh. Who 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 are they to judge? If I am Michael? Or not? What? Michael, you're just you're just rambling now. I am. Yeah, and I'm gonna hang up because I'm getting a headache. Yeah. Would you say that one day you're getting what again? Ajinu or something? I'm getting Ajinu. What's that? What 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 is it? What is the word again? Ajidu. Ajidu. Is that even a real word? Yes. It does. It just sounds like something you made up. Ajidu. That sounds like that's like sounds like Haji or something. That sounds like that sounds like somebody that sounds like somebody's name that works at the seven eleven. I gotta let you go. Right. I got work to do. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.